Hey guys, it's the Coach YouTube again, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna walk you through what the layout looks like in Unity, how do we can use some of the panels that we have in the Unity editor, how we can define what is called layout so that we can save them for later, how do I use them in my own games, why would you use them? So there's a lot of things that are part of the layout in Unity and part of the editor itself that I wanna show you. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right, guys, so let me show you how we can deal with layouts when it comes to, you know, setting, setting up the Unity editor in a way that you're comfortable with it or in a way that it makes you more productive. So I use layouts a lot when it comes to, you know, making games. The, the reason for that is because you might need a different layout if you're working on, let's say, animations, or you might need a different la layout if you're working on mobile. So I have, if you, go, if you go to the top right, you have this thing called layout. And if I select two by three, you're gonna see you're gonna see that we're getting you know the scene right here, we're getting the game view right here, and if I hit play, you just basically have different components that are looking at different areas of the game engine. So I can also click on a floor split, and you can now see I get the scene here, I get the scene here, and also the scene all the way through. But we're looking at different angles. We're looking at basically the top view here, the front view here, perspective, and then right. So these are really helpful, and a lot of different tools have these, such as Maya, Blender, and you're gonna see a lot of these things when it comes to you know games, when you're using tools in games. There's a lot of different views that will allow you to be more productive when it comes to you know creating your game or creating your apps or or different things that you're doing. So if I do a default, this is basically the default view that Unity provides. I really don't use this default default view to be honest. I use a lot of a lot of times the the, the tall view when it comes to you know creating games. The reason why I use this tall view is because I really like to get a lot of real estate in this area. I I might I might just rearrange things manually. So for instance, if I'm working if I'm working on this in this view, I might want to have just the game right here, or I might want to have it right on the bottom. And, and the cool thing with Unity is you can you can arrange it in any way that you want. If I want the project to be on this side, if I want it to be on this side, then you can move it all around. So I like to use, you know, kind of like this view where I'm splitting the scene view with the game view a lot. And the other thing that I can do is if I want to do a wide one, which is the other one, the other one that it's out of the, you know, out of the box in Unity, is you get a wide, basically a wide scene here. I also have a Y game, and this one is really helpful because you have the hierarchy here and also the project in this area. So if I hit play, I can see the game, you know, in a, in a much bigger, in a, in a much bigger, basically, screen a screen size or panel size. So I'm gonna hit play one more time. And let's say that I wanted to go back to tall, and I wanted to say, I wanted to always see, you know, maybe these two. And, and this was a layout that I use a lot so instead of having to do that every time I open Unity, because if I do this one time and I close Unity, reopen Unity, I might lose some of these views, and and I want to make sure that I that I'm keeping this view or I can access them easily. So if I I may want a skin a skinny version of this, so I can say you know you know I use this a lot, so why am I having to do that every time? So you can do what's called uh, basically a layout. You can say okay, I want to save this layout. So in this one is gonna be tall scene game. So we can create a new layout with our own, with our own name. So I can hit save. And now if I go to two by three, which is another one that is out of the box in Unity, and I click on tall scene and game, I can get my own layout without having to do it every time manually. So let's say that I wanted to do, you know, a white one where, where I put the game on the bottom and this was maybe on the side and so I can do I can do the same thing. I can hey you know save layout and I can say instead of a tall, I can say Y scene in game and hit save. So now what I can do is I can toggle. I want the tall one, I can get the tall one, I want the wide one, I can get the wide one, and I can do you know I can go easily back to the default, and this is basically the default that Unity provides. So you can keep extending that a lot. Let's say that I want to go, you know, I want to go to the wide one. And I didn't want everything on the screen, so I wanted to do, you know, maybe a wider one. And I move everything. And all I have in here is, you know, the inspector, the project, the hierarchy. And then I just have a lot of real estate in here. And maybe I, 
Maybe I even want to get the game scene right here very small. So this, this one will allow you to test your game. You can see what's happening in the game. This one right here will allow you to look at the scene view without having, you know, a lot, a lot of that cover the screen. So I can say, you know, I can hit another layout and say game large, which means that, you know, I'm seeing the game and it's a large, you know, version of the game, the game panel, and then hit save. And now I can go, you know, two by three, I get my two by three, I can get, you know, to my tall scene game, I can get to my wide scene game, and I can also do, you know, my game large, which is this big one. So that's really how you would use some of these ones, some of the layouts, you can customize them. The the other thing that you can do, just like I showed you a few, few seconds ago, is I can move things around. So if I wanted to move that there, I can move that there. So I do that by just selecting the tap and then dragging. So you can move them anywhere you want, it's completely flexible. Let's say that you had two screens and or three screens even, you can you can leave it floating and basically move this to the second screen. And Unity will remember that you put that on the second screen. So I use that a lot with my workflow. I may have the game view in another screen, I might have the scene view in another screen. And, and that's really helpful because it's gonna make you very productive. So I can basically put it back into a game, or if I don't wanna do that, I can leave it, you know, I can leave it in the air, just like we had it. And I can click on my, my layout, so I'm gonna say white, and it's gonna basically reattach itself, which is really helpful if you wanna, you know, if you just don't wanna lose your changes. So the other thing that I can do is I can go to window, and there's a lot of windows in here that are, you know, available with default, but there's a lot of windows that you're not seeing that we might need later on. So what we're seeing right now is basically everything, most mostly everything under general, but if you wanted to see, you know, light settings, if you wanna see, animations and the animator, which is something that I'm gonna be showing you next. If you wanna look at the audio mixer, the sequencing, the analysis, and then and then so on. So let's say that I wanted to, for some reason I wanted to grab the, anima the animation panel. So I select that and now I have the animation panel. So what if I want the animation panel on the bottom and not the game view on the bottom? So I can go ahead and move my game view back to, basically back to next to the scene. And this is a very common layout that we have when it comes to you know animators are going to relate to this because you always have your animation timeline on the bottom where above right you know from where you're animating so so having something like this and then being able to save it is really helpful because i can say okay save layout and this could be you know game game large and then animation and i can hit i can hit save so now if i go to two by three and i click on you know, game large animation, I know that by going to this layout, I'm gonna have my animation panel on the bottom, I'm gonna have my game view on the top with the with the same view as a basically as another tab. So this is really helpful when it comes to, you know, workflows and, and deep, maybe, you, maybe you have different, you know, a big team that you have to work with. And some of you may have, you know, are animators, some of you are coders, and you may have different views depending on what you do and what roles you have. So that's how you can use, you know, the layouts and how you can customize them. So I'm gonna wrap it up right here. And again, if you guys have any questions, let me know through the comments. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that's really gonna help me in growing this channel and also bringing you more videos. And also don't forget to share this video. Thank you guys.